Hey guys, Coach Pillowfist here. So as boxing fans, we've all seen that short clip of Floyd Mayweather hitting that power jab on the heavy bag. That stuff was crisp. Now I'm no Floyd Mayweather and I can't replicate Floyd Mayweather's jab, but I can break down the tiny details for you on the mechanics of that power jab that he's throwing. So first things first, the jab is not meant to be a power punch, but in this case, we're turning that jab into a power punch, right? So we gotta tweak some things around. We gotta break some rules here. One of the main rules that you guys learn with the jab is to not flare your elbow out when you guys throw it, right? You wanna keep your elbow in, when you guys throw that jab. Well, in this special circumstance with that power jab, we do kind of want to break that rule. We kind of do want to flare our elbow out a little bit for the mechanics of it. Now look closely at the way that I move my shoulders when I throw my lead hook. Now look closely at the way that I move my shoulders when I throw my power jab. It's almost the same movement, right? So with this power jab, you're almost kind of thinking of it as like a stepping lead hook. Like I step with the lead hook, right? Except I'm stepping with the jab. Now let's talk about the feet. It is very important that most of your weight is distributed on your rear foot before and after the punch. So right here, most of my weight is on my rear foot. And I'm gonna keep my weight on my rear foot even after I throw that punch. Now here's the fun part. I'm gonna show you guys two different variations of that power jab. Variation one is a lot like how Floyd Mayweather was throwing it in the video. So normally when you guys hold your stance, you have your lead hand sitting directly in front of the lead shoulder, or you have your lead hand on the inside of your lead shoulder like that. But in this case, I'm going to bring my lead hand to the outside of my lead shoulder. So you should be able to see my lead shoulder from where you're standing right here. So normally I'm right here, right, or, or right here, right? But I'm going to bring my lead shoulder on the outside like that. This way, when I turn my shoulders, I'm able to turn, rotate, and put more torque into that snap of the shoulder, of the jab, of the hook, of the... Now here's variation number two, commonly utilized by Canelo Alvarez. You see when Canelo's in his high guard, if you notice he brings both of his shoulders forward and squared up like that. This puts more torque into his jab, versus normally wearing more of a bladed stance like this, right? So from this position right here, I can really put some good torque in the rotation of the shoulders there. Kind of like what he did with Sergey Kovalev right here. I'm boxing, right? I'm moving my head. And you can blend it in with your head movement, right? You see when you move your head, you move your shoulders. So when I move my head to the left, that's when you guys can utilize that jab. So I'm moving, moving my head. But all right, everybody, thank you guys for tuning into that video. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one.